All right. Ooh, camera up. Oh, nice here. Camera down. I forgot to comb my hair today. <laughs> Uh, one of those days. Welcome back to my studio. Let's see what I can do. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Okay, that'll work, I think. Whoops. Uh, it'll work out.
Oops. Yeah. Okay.
I don't know. It'll dry eventually. All right. Let's see how it's progressed. Where's the other? There it is. Hmm. Trying. Wish I had more of this. I might have to print some up. <sighs> COVID features, yeah. Yeah. Well, the virus ain't going away anytime soon. Our government's making sure of that. That's the conspiracy theory that people should be looking into is why didn't our government do more to stop this thing rather than, you know, I mean, the big conspiracy is that, you know, a lot of people think it's a hoax or they still think that they still think it's a hoax. People are dropping dead and they think it's a hoax. 
what can you do? But they should be asking, why didn't the government do more? Why isn't the government doing more now? You know, that's what they should be asking. But they're not asking that. They think the government should do less. Okay. All right, so I'll let this dry somewhere. Yeah, what do I got here? This is a this is a mess. Wow. Hmm. Oh man. Yeah. This calls for some flower girl. As it's called. Whoops. Jeez. That dry too. Oh, there's one. Forget about this one. What to do with this?
Okay. Uh, hmm. Oh, maybe.
It's got to dry. Can't really see it right now.
got to almost, almost put that in my drinking water. <laughs> so eventually this is going to become a collage, I guess. Why not, right? Well, so ends in another exciting episode. I'm amazed the U.S. is dragging its feet. Yeah. Well, on the one hand, we're vaccinating, well, over 3 million doses a day. But uh, you know, you got to have two doses. I mean, 80% of the people that are getting vaccinated are getting either Pfizer or Moderna. Moderna, Moderna. Anyway, uh, and it's two shots. So, so when they do three million a day, they're not knocking out three million people because they got to. They do. I mean, you know, so it's more like one and a half million, which you know is something. But I mean, one and a half million a day. That's 200 days to get to 300 million. Of course, we're not going to get anywhere close to that. But even to get to 250, it'd be, I don't know. I don't know how many it'd be. Oh, fuck. I guess it'd be 175 days or some shit. It's a long damn time. Of course, we started in, technically we started in December, but call it February before we were rolling it out pretty fast. So how many months would that be? Eight months, six months. February, March, April, May, June, July. Yeah, okay. Well, so we might have enough people vaccinated by the, start of this if they get you know if they would go ahead and approve it for the kids i mean how much different could kids bodies be than adults you know i think they need to fast track it otherwise i mean the the, the, the option the other option is to just go ahead and keep losing you know uh what how many people are dying every day 600 or something i don't know you know every day that's a lot of people. It's less than it was, but it's still a lot of people. You know. So, uh, but if they do that with the kids, you know, there's only like under 16, there's only like 20, 22 million people under 16. But that's enough that if we don't get them vaccinated, it's like until. 75% of them get vaccinated, then we're not going to, then we'll definitely not reach herd immunity because we'll only have like 65% or something. I, I just don't think that'll do it. I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, all this is guesswork and I'm not a scientist. I'm just reading what they write, you know, and it's hard to, you kind of, you have to parse it. You have to, you know, you have to kind of read it all and then try to figure it out. Uh, you know, because they're not, they're not just, they're not just like giving it to you, you know, straight or whatever. I mean, I guess they don't know, but uh, whatever. We still have like over 60,000 new cases a day. I guess, I guess England is doing badly too. I don't know. Or I should say, uh, the United Kingdom is doing poorly. <sighs> so, I don't know. But I'm about ready. I've, I'm, uh, what is it? What's today? 15th. This is the 15th day since I was vaccinated. And I haven't grown anything weird or anything. Uh, uh, so, you know, I guess all is well. They say, you know, after two weeks, you're, you're pretty good, but I don't really like pretty good. Isn't I want it better than pretty good. You know, they say, they say that 
if you wait 28 days or four weeks, that it's even better than waiting two weeks. So I plan to wait two more weeks before I get out and about. And even then I'll wear a mask, you know. And even then I won't go visit my friend that's not going to wear a mask. You know. And that kind of sucks. Sucks to be him because he doesn't get it. He doesn't, you know, it's like, you know, he's taking it personal. It's like, I just don't want to die, you son of a bitch. You know, of course, I probably wouldn't die even if I got it, but I don't want to get it. Because now they're saying that a lot of people, I mean, they're, they're saying like 30% of the people that were asymptomatic, or maybe it was higher than that, that a whole lot of people that are asymptomatic are are like later on, they're not asymptomatic anymore. And so there's like long-term effects of the COVID virus, you know, that we are unfamiliar with, that we don't know what's going to do. And I don't want to, I don't want to find out personally, you know, let somebody else be that guinea pig. You know, I took the vaccine. That's, that's as much of a guinea pig as I want to be. You know, I don't want to do both experiments. <laughs> you know, right. Anyway, whatever. Uh, but I just can't, it's just hard to just stay here, you know. I got to get my truck inspected before I can drive it legally. I don't know if I really give a shit on how to if I'll drive it legally. I drove a car one time. I just didn't feel like, I didn't feel like getting the uh, inspection done, you know, so. Back then, the inspection was different than the registration, so you could go ahead and get your vehicle registered even if it wasn't inspected. Now they, they you can't do that. You have, you have to first you got to get an insured. You got to take the insurance with you, you know, proof of insurance to the inspection place, get it inspected, then take the insurance and the inspection uh, certificate to the uh, tax office and uh, and register it. And you have to do that every year. But you can, you know, you can mail it in. But my tax office isn't that far away. I like doing things in person, or at least I used to. I probably don't anymore. Unfortunately, though, because it's been sitting for over a year, I think I have to go down there because I have to fill out an affidavit that said that it says that I didn't drive it. You know, yeah, it's kind of bullshit. I found out the hard way once. Uh, you know, I admitted to, I mean, I was like, I was like, yeah, I drove it a few times. And they're like, oh. And so there's like an upcharge. I don't remember, like $35 extra or something, right? And it's just because I said that. Because if, if I hadn't said that to the woman, if I just said no, you know, then I would have saved $35. So $35 lesson. <laughs> you know, it's a crooked world, man. They demand, they demand crookedness from you. If you don't deliver, you'll get penalized. You know, no good deed goes unpunished, not in this world. You know, so just remember that. <laughs> you heard it here. <sighs> I think masks are here for a long while. Yeah, well, a lot of people probably keep wearing them. You know, uh, here in the States, I don't know about over there, but... We virtually had no flu season this last, uh, like since October. It's like normally, you know, where it would have been. It's, I mean, it's a historic low in in uh, flu cases this year, uh, and that's you know they they believe and I believe that it's due to the mask wearing, the wash hand washing, and the social distancing. Even though we only did it half ass, because that's all we did here was half ass. You know, seriously, you know, like kids that wear pants down around, you know, it's like their butts showing. It's like, what's the, per? you know, that's what you're, that's what you're supposed to cover with your pants, you idiot. <laughs> you know, so we did half ass here and, uh, and we got half ass results, you know, Vietnam, Australia, New Zealand, they did full ass and they got full ass results. So, you know. It's not, it's not even rocket science. I mean, it's not, you know, I mean, it's right there for any dumbass to see, you know. But dumbasses can't see things right in front of their face, you know. It's weird. There's got to be a conspiracy. It's got to be. <laughs>
got to be some, you know, some intricate mythological, magical substance. There. This is reptilians. <laughs> Which would make sense, but, but, you know, anyway. All right. What the hell am I talking about? I don't even know. Here's a weird painting. This is somebody else's painting, obviously. I guess I'm allowed to show it to you. I think you can critique other people's paintings and stuff, you know, right? You know, that's a pretty interesting painting, isn't it? You turn up art, art magazines. It's almost shameful, but oh well. well here's this is a cool painting too. Is this, oh, this is an oil. You know, sometimes I see oil paintings that almost look like watercolors. I don't know how they achieved that. Because the only the only oil paintings I ever did, I only did about, I think I did three before I decided I couldn't handle the fumes. But um, they were the Bob Ross style, you know. So they looked like Bob Ross paintings. I mean, you know, I did a real good job of copying his stuff. <laughs> You know, but I mean, that's how they, I mean, the whole Bob Ross experience, you know, it's like you get these little books and, you know, it's almost paint by numbers, really. I mean, there's no numbers, but, uh, you know, tells you where to put which paint where. And, and I know some of the, some of the, some of the beginners that take my courses, that's what they, you know, that's what they're expecting, I guess. And so that, you know, but I'm happy to know that a lot of people that had some experience painting have taken my courses and just used what they could, you know, from each one and, and made it their own, you know, cause that's what I like to see, you know, and I encourage new students to do that really. So if you're a new student, you know, deviate, please deviate. Don't, you know, don't ask me what color paint I used six years ago when I created that course. Cause I don't freaking know. It's just paint. It, what color does it look on your, on your computer screen? Use that color. I mean, if you want it to look, the same color <laughs> you know does it look orange red yellow blue those are the colors something in between you know maybe it's flower girl maybe that's what it was you know but don't run out and buy the same stuff i have seriously you know you don't need to nobody can understand or not nobody but new new painters can't quite get their head around that you know, but I wish I wish you could because uh, you know that's that's like a huge leap, and it's like you might as well make that leap day one, as far as I'm concerned. Bring whatever you got. You know, you don't have acrylics, get some Elmer's glue, and and if you got watercolors already, you know, or, or inks, you know, you can you can make colors with your Elmer's glue, and there you go, that's acrylics. Yeah. Hillbilly acrylics. <laughs> All right. I will talk to you guys later. Well, it's not ending. I don't know if it's still recording or not, but it's not. Because I'll just close.